Hi, happy weekend. Welcome back to Crafting a Country Life. I'm going to jump on this morning and share um, some of the projects I've been working on over the past week and a half or so in my spare time. And um, I will be posting this to Saturday Morning Makes as well. That's hosted by Jillian Norwood. Um, and uh, actually, I, I think I'm going to jump right in and start off with the paper crafts first, and then we'll move into the, um, the stitchery projects. So the first thing that I made was this little ornament. And um, this was so much fun to put together. There are some fabric pieces in here. You can see these are vintage quilting squares that I picked up at a, a, flat, a flea market. And then some cardstock pieces as well. And some. this is an authentic paper pad with the vintage Valentine on it. And then I just attached a bow and um, some really nice heavyweight cotton twine that came on a Dollar Tree leftover, oh no, I think it was Dollar General. Yeah, it was from Dollar General. I picked up some larger Masonite ornaments that had this cording at the top, so I pulled off the cording and attached it to the back of my ornament with some hot glue. Um, you're gonna have to excuse my voice. <laughs> I'm a little bit squeaky today. I, I have a cold, so hopefully, hopefully this will this will go off well. Um, so yeah, and then I just added some little embellishments, a little sentiment up here from uh, with some uh, ephemera from my from my stash. And the die that I used is the Scrap Diva um, Scrap Diva Designs um, doily set, and these are great. They come in three different sizes. I absolutely love this die. It's versatile. You can use it for any season or theme. You can make bag toppers by die cutting these out, folding them over, and they come in different sizes, so you can match them to the size of uh, the bag that you want to put the topper on. Um, they make wonderful paper doilies, and oh, I'm just in love with this die. <laughs> and it has little hearts die cut around the edge, which and this edging looks like eyelet, fabric eyelet, you know, the ribbon, the lace trim that you can purchase. And with these separated stitched rings in between, it's really versatile because you can swap out. Now let me show you what I did. I sat down and cut out a bunch of them in different Valentine patterns. And I left the ring, the stitched ring out for these doily shaped ones here. And then I cut out some separate, there's the little pink ones, the smaller size. And then I cut out separate ones with the stitched rings that come with the with the set. But aren't these great? This one, I don't know if you can see that, but it has an embossed surface. If I can catch it in the light. See the little hearts across the surface? I picked this paper pad up at Michael's. I think it was last year, and it's a whole pad full of um, reds and pinks that have embossed designs on them. I just love this. Here's the larger doily, the center ring that goes with that, okay? And um, here are some of the larger sized uh, doilies from that die, die set as well. Oh my gosh, I love this pink chevron. So yeah, I'm gonna have some fun playing with these cutouts, but I just wanted to share that die set with you in case you're contemplating it or have seen it and are wondering if we would get a lot of use out of it. Believe me, I've been using this a lot. So I keep this in my, I'm keeping these right now in my couch kit. And I've shown this on previous videos where I like to take a small, you know, this is just an old plastic deli container with a lid. And I'll put my stitching supplies in here, my trims, my paper crafts, whatever I happen to be working on. And if I want to go and sit down while I'm watching a movie or something, I've got everything in there. My colored threads, my stitching cottons, there are needles, sewing needles in here, a small pin cushion, scraps, a thimble, a little thimble, and of course a small pair of scissors and an, a friction pen. And I like the friction pens because uh, they wash out when you use them on fabric, so they're great for marking um, your patterns and your, you know, if you're doing quilting, that sort of thing. So yeah, so that's my couch kit. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So we'll put these back in here and then I can continue on sharing, sharing the project. So that's this design right here, this cute little ornament. So I really love this. I'm going to make some more of these. 
Um, and then the next thing I did is I created this little Valentine's banner using some red twine that I got on clearance at Michael's. Get this a little closer so you can see. It's kind of like the macrame twine because it's kind of rough like a jute. So I thought it would be good for this. I was trying to create a shabby Victorian look. This is a banner with paper crafted uh, hearts that I die cut. And then I added some uh, fabrics and card stocks and Victorian uh, stickers and jemmies. And then you can even see the Nouveau drops on there. And a little sentiment on each one. Oh, the camera's not focusing very well. This one says, my grateful heart. Here's the back. You know, they're just um, old book pages that I had picked up at a, a thrift state sale. And I distressed around the edges of the hearts. And then the hearts themselves, um, you can't see it in the, in the camera, but inside, the, there are two hearts glued together. And inside, I put quilt batting to give them a little puffiness and also some rigidity. And then I just hooked them onto the twine using a small clothespin. And then I put vintage buttons in between each heart on the banner. Here's the other one here. Here's the next heart. This one says, my heart's desire. I love that. And these are the red um, Nouveau drops and a little uh, heart sticker, foil heart sticker. There's a little bit of a muslin fabric tea dyed muslin fabric here. That's focusing very well. But. And then I just frayed the edges of the fabric before I glued it on. And then I added the vintage stickers. These are Dover stickers. Let me show you what I have. I've had this book for ever. I mean, it's probably 30 years old, maybe more. This is called uh, Victorian Romantic Stickers and Seals. Um, 18 or 78 full color pressure sensitive designs by Carol Belanger Grafton. She selected them. They're reprints of old ephemera from the turn of the century. I've used a lot of them, but um, this is back probably what in the 90s, 80s or 90s. I bought these very inexpensively and I've had them ever since. I've been using them here and there over the years. I'm really dating myself, <laughs> but I love them. I just love them. And of course, over the years, the stick, the stickiness has gotten a little bit um, not as sticky. So I just use a little glue to help reinforce them when I put them on. But these, um, I don't know if Dover's doing these anymore. They had a whole series of different kinds of stickers back in the day that you could purchase really inexpensively. I mean, this is, I bought this whole package for $3.50 way back when. Anyway, so that's what I used on the hearts that are on this banner. And, um, all right, so there's the second heart. Here's the third heart. Here's the little, the little vintage button that I put there. And then here's the next heart. And this one says, she was wishing. Yeah, my camera doesn't seem to be focusing as well as it could be. Bring it in closer. There's a little piece of lace here. Okay, and then a small piece of quilting cotton underneath the sentiment there. And then, of course, the sticker in the corner, another button. Here's the next one. And again, some more quilting cottons and trims. And then the last one here is a button with some twine, a little piece of French toile fabric, some torn cardstock here on the green here. And yeah, this one I put some uh, Nouveau drops on as well. The dream drops that have the sparkles. Yeah, sorry, this isn't really focusing very well. Anyway, so that is uh, the banner that I created with the kind of a shabby chic feel to it. And then the other project I worked on was um, a set of these adorable quilted hearts. And I got my inspiration from Erica Arndt. She has a, a channel on YouTube and she does a lot of machine and hand quilting and, you know, fiber, fiber f fabric projects and such. Um, a little bit of knitting too. Um, she's lots of fun to watch. She's very energetic and she has some adorable quilting projects and a business of her own where she sells patterns and other things too. So anyway, uh, this was inspired by a recent video that she 
had on some little heart-shaped ornaments. So I took my own ideas and put them together and put some trim on the top, some buttons on both sides. And what I did for this is these have a, a pretty good stiffness to them. So the way I created that was, oh, these also have different stitching. Pardon me. This is These are scalloped edge with my pinking shears. And then I just did a running stitch with pearl cotton. And these here are, um, you know, like an overcast stitch all around. I did not pink the edges first on these. So I'm not sure how I wanna use these yet. I might make a banner with these as well. Um, and these of course will be ornaments. So I, when I'm done with these, I'll, I'll have to, you know, post a video. But aren't they pretty? Anyway, I used, um, to get the stiff effect on these, I used some felt. Let me show you a scrap, the scraps from the project. I started out with, a, I don't know, maybe a 12, 14 inch square, double layer of felt. This is just some old felt I had in my stash. And then my backing fabric, you can see here where I've stitched a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I just did um, uh, quilting on top. I laid some fabric strips right sides facing as I stitched over the fabric. <coughs> Here you can see the way that works. So I would place a fabric strip on the felt, my backing fabric on the bottom, two layers of felt. And then I took my fabric strips and I stitched the first fabric strip down, you know, right side facing up. And then I took the next fabric strip and placed it on top of <coughs> the first fabric strip right sides together. And then you flip this open and press it. So I continued my on my way across the fabric that way. <coughs> Excuse me. And when I finished, I went back and um, machine quilted over the top. <coughs> oh, sorry. Thanks for hanging in there with me. <laughs> oh, I feel like this tomorrow I may stay home. I <laughs> oh, catch a lot of colds. I work in an elementary school. So um, anyway, so finished. I've got to finish up these hearts, but I think they really came out cute. I love that, and uh, I can't wait to finish these up and have a little fun with that. Um, I also wanted to share one thing that I found at Dollar Tree. This is, it's just a like a rubberized mat, and it was in their craft section, $1.25. It's a silicone, well, I don't know if it's silicone. It feels rubbery to me, um, but it's a mat to put your glue gun on. And I love the small size, so I picked one up and I've been really happy with it. You know, for the price, you can't go wrong. Um, and I have a larger silicone mat that I use for crafting, but it's really big. You know, typically if I'm working on a big project, I'll put this one out, you know, it's large. But if I just have to do a little bit of hot gluing, I can take this little pink one and just put it out on the edge of my table without having to, you know, clear everything off to fit the big silicone mat. So just wanted to share that in case you're, you know, looking for something similar. Um, check out Dollar Tree for those. Okay, I think that's it for today. Uh, oh, one more little thing. <laughs> I made up these cute little uh, foam pom-pom Valentine monsters. I got a kit last year on clearance, so I put them together this year. Uh, I think I got the kit at, might have been Michael's for next to nothing. And it came with a whole bag full of these little pom-pom monsters. So I put one together and I thought, oh, this wouldn't this be a fun thing to, to stick into um, like some Valentine Happy Mail? So yeah, so that was a lot of fun to do. Little wiggle eyes, a little heart for the feet. Yeah, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoy watching. And um, when I get these hearts done, I will jump back on and share what I'm gonna do with them. So I hope you have a great weekend. Hope your day is going well so far and that you're enjoying everything there is to enjoy. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.